by the name of Mike Pham, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm an Asian artist coming out of Birmingham, Alabama. I started rapping when I was 12 years old. A lot of people, man, you know what I'm saying, hate on me because I was a different race. And I was Vietnamese, you know what I'm saying, coming through day shows and you know, rap battles, and people used to look at me like, damn, man, who is that Asian dude, right, coming in my club? I do music because I love it. And I feel like sometimes, you know what I'm saying, people look down on me because I'm a different race, you know, and and I talk different and my rap's different. But like I said, man, this is me. This is how I grew up, man, you know what I'm saying? If you put an Asian dude in a black community, what you expect him to act like? He gonna act like he white? He gonna act like a, somebody? No, he gonna act like he black because, you know what I'm saying? That's his environment. You put somebody in a different environment, guess what? You gonna act just like them. I'm, I'm the Asian Fury. I'm the Asian Fury. I hear you haters talking smack, but you don't even fear me. Just the Hills Mall's like the first place that I ever started rapping, you know what I'm saying? I remember rapping right here for a dollar and fifty cent, you know what I'm saying, with my boy Dre. You know what I'm saying? Like Dre, man, from ROA. You know, I remember y'all know Jiggy the Bang, Jiggy the Bang a long time ago to do it. I knew here. I met Drew right here. I was like, man, they came in the mall. Like, who the hell these dudes is, man? I was sitting right here. I rapped for them, man, you know what I'm saying? And as soon as I rapped for them, right, they gave me their number. And they took me to New Hill, man. They took me to New Hill. I had my bike parked all the way at Paridges, man. I was like 11 to 12 years old. I swear to God, man. You know what I'm saying? I went to their studio. They put their bike in the back of the truck. You know what I'm saying? And we went all the way down to the studio. They recorded me my first song, man, that I ever recorded with, man. Shots out of my boy Dre and Drew, man. Oh, yeah. You're going down, your boy Mike Fan, man. At Winget, man, this is where I used to buy wings when I was 12, 11, man. You know, when I first started rapping, coming in here buying wings at Winget. You know, my boy Charles, I used to buy wings all the time. This is where I buy. How long have you eating wings, man? 19 years. 19 years? 19 years, man. Ever since I was a little kid. I'm gonna get some wings now. Winget is the best wing place, man, that I've ate at, man. You know what I'm saying? I eat out any wing place. No disrespect to the wing place, and, you know what I'm saying, Birmingham, but. Wing is my favorite, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been eating these wings since I was young, since I was, man, 10 years old, man. Now I'm 33 years old. Imagine that. You know what I'm saying? 20 some years, man, I've been eating food, man. But, like, this shit ain't changed. You know what I'm saying? Chili cheese, fried nachos, chicken fingers. I eat everything here, man. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, ain't no wing place like Wing It. This is where I bought my clothes. I know they close after hours, man, but like I said, I bought my clothes fly fashion. Shout out to my boy Jamal, man. You know, so he be giving a hook up on the clothes and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Dope, fresh clothes. Y'all need to go to fly fashion, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I go shop at when I get a chance here on the west side. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, y'all be on the lookout, man. New gear. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's why I got the new pyramid, you know what I'm saying, gear. I wear all shit, man. Barmain, Versace, Gucci. You know what I'm saying? I wear it all, man. I support everybody, man. But like I said, man, I come here, you know what I'm saying, buy my hustle gear, you know what I'm saying? Everything, man. But y'all be on the lookout, man. My new fresh gear that I get it from Fly Fashion. I got a hella track. Yeah. Hey, yeah, a hella track. Yeah. Wow! That's a good Vietnam, huh? That's an Asian theory. Let me show you how, huh? Hella tracks on the track. Hella tracks. See, ain't game black. See, ain't game black. Best producers in the city right here, boy. Hella track. I got that work. My code name is Paul the Hebrew Slave. Shit, I work hard because I say so. I work hard with no paper. This is what I live in. When he come in here, do he like usually play beats for you? Or yeah, yeah, he play beats for me and stuff like that. He play beats and then he make it from scratch. You know what I'm saying? And like, we'll go through his, we'll go through his beats and stuff like that. And I'm like, damn, what's that beat that I like, man? When I first heard it, it was a slow jam beat, man. It was like, my bad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you good? I, 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 I'm back. I ain't mean to knock your stuff down. That, I had to know my knee, know my knee. <laughs> man, we like Chris Tucker, Jackie Chan right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he do the beats. Hey, I do the rapping. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, 
I basically come to me with an idea, and then I just do what I do. Yep. And like when he came to shoot Asian Fear, you know what I'm saying? I told him, I said, okay, make that hot track. He made it hot for me. <laughs> so I be telling all them haters, do not throw no shots at me. Cause you throw shots at me, I'm throwing shots right back. <laughs> you understand me? I'm the Asian Fury. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming back. <laughs> this is a hell of a track. You understand? I, matter of fact, I freestyled that whole track. You know what I'm saying? I, but the first track that I recorded with him was Work with Ink Game Loke. Shouts out to Ink Game Loke, man. You know what I'm saying? We did work, man. That was a hell of a track, boy. He gave me work first. And we, we killed them, man. You know what I'm saying? I met Hella Tracks at a Christmas party. Actually, you met me before that. I met before that. Before that. We, we met at a club downtown on the south side. And I mean, that was back in like, oh, oh, 03, oh, 04. Mm -hmm. Introduced, exchanged phone numbers. I don't know if he was too drunk or if I was too drunk, but we, we didn't even link up. And last year, just all of a sudden at the blue Christmas party, my wife is his girl's stepsister. Yep. And we just linked up and went from there and the rest is history. Hell yeah. God do everything for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Like he said, he linked the best with the best, man, you know what I'm saying? It made it happen, man. Like I said, I'm glad I met this dude right here, man. This dude got some hella tracks, boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hella tracks, man. This is where I record the work at, y'all. Mix hey, and match up by Bow Fam, man, you know what I'm saying? You gotta but, work together. Gotta work together, man. That's what we gotta do, man. Chemistry, good chemistry. You know, anybody can work together, but you gotta have good chemistry, man, when you're in the studio. You know what I'm saying? You wanna get into this on uh, this work beat and see how it started off? Yeah. Just break it down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Break it down. Show no idea. Show no idea. Started off with a guitar. Yeah. And a little heart to it. Freestyling that hook right off the top, nothing written, then just put the rest of it together. It was like magic. <clears throat> like I said, it's good chemistry when I'm with my boy Hella Tracks, man. You know what I'm saying? The dopest producer in the city, man. One of the dopest producers in the city. I don't care if I'm feeling anybody, but like I said, any producers I get with, I'm gonna kill it, man. You know what I'm saying? I love, I got the music for passion. I got, I just love this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody take it away from me. That's all that hey, them haters up there cannot take this shit away from me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't being arrogant. I'm just being myself, man. I don't even know how to sing, but I <laughs> promise you, I can write a hook for somebody singing. You know what I'm saying? You might, you might feel like you can't sing, but you definitely got the idea of melodies down. Got the melody. You definitely got the melodies. You know what I'm saying? I grew up changing faces. Y'all you, you, remember changing faces? Brandy. <laughs> man, come on, man. I can go on Whitney Houston. Man, you calling out some heavy hitters. You know what I'm saying? TLC. Tony Braston, man, you know what I'm saying? I can go on and rap for my, my favorite artists, you know what I'm saying, that I ever like. I like Snoop Dogg, the old Snoop. You know what I'm saying? I like Tupac, the old Pop. Uh, Biggie Smalls, you know what I'm saying? I like Nas, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, I got a lot of T.I., Jeezy. Come on, man, we can go way, way back. Y'all want to go way back and bring it way back? Bone yeah, Thugs and Harmony. You got to have an open mind and listen to yeah. Nas. Nas, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like lyrical shit. Shout out to my boy Larry, man. You know what I'm saying? My boy Larry, man. Larry, what's up, Larry? F and F, man. My boy Larry, he go everywhere I go, man. Like, if he can make it to any show, man, that dude make it to video shoots, man. That dude be in work clothes. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what's up, man. That's where it takes support, man. Support go a long ways, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I fuck with him. Hey, shout out to my boy Ricky Carson, man. What up, Kyle Light? What it do, man? Hey, hey, baby, what up?
bro. Them beats banging so hard, but that speaker smoke coming out of this shit, bro. <laughs> boy, that speaker smoke coming out. I'm smelling that smoke, boy. It's on fire, you know what I'm saying? Kyle Light, what it do, man? Shouts out to my boy Kyle Light, man. Kyle Light, man. Cheese, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to dude from Birmingham 205. Stand up, man. We in here, man. Hey, we got next in the city, man. Shoot a documentary about my life right now. Hey, they don't know about my life and how I grew up. And I remember back in the days I ain't had shit. Falling is a habit. Bad bitch trying to stab it. Anything at the mall, you know I'm finna grab it. Barman bust a side cheek. Gucci with them hoochies. They be acting bougie. Bubbling in the room. Uh, rubies, man. Ice out. Fucking necklace. Anything I want, cause I'm so fucking reckless. Man. I've been doing shit since fucking Texas. Diamonds on my necklace. You know I'm so hectic. And I pull up in that motherfucking Lexus. Diamonds on my necklace. Boy, you know I'm hectic. Ryan solo, dolo. Keep it on the low, bro. You be see me Ryan super clean. Ballin' hard like some Dow me. My favorite color's green. Off the AC machine. You see my diamonds clean. Hey, that shit is real. Yeah, that shit is real. Cause my folks on it every nail shop in this field. Pay no bill. I ain't gotta slam no rocks. Cause my folks got plenty of them nail shops. Made it to the top like a fucking astronaut. And I ain't really gotta dash no motherfucking cops. This is real hip hop. That's just to my life. Yeah, I'm married, bitch. I got a fucking wife. And she black, man. She ain't fucking whack, man. She work at UAB, you know she got some stacks, man. Yeah, my girl, she don't even fucking do nails. Yeah, I do nails for a real shell. Yeah, she gotta pay me motherfucking retail. Cause if she don't, she better take her ass to the Taco Bell. My damn dog, you know I'm reckless. Diamonds looking fresh, man, up on my necklace. It's a hella track. It's a hella track. We gon' pull up with Billy's and fucking Cadillacs. Swear to God, I'ma beat all the fucking odds. I'ma beat the prize. They be like, oh my God, my fam boy, you know he dangerous. Going straight for your neck like a Dracula. About to flip the game up like a spatula. Yeah, I'm cold on this motherfucking microphone. Hoes used to blow up a phone like my name was Mike Jones, but now I'm grown. I gotta load out my phone. I just ate some wingy, motherfucking wings. Ain't no more eating, no more Burger King. Damn, Mike fam eating lobster. Why y'all broke dudes eating fucking Whoppers? Yeah, I used to eat motherfucking cheese fries. Now I got a lot of cheese made up in my fries. Damn, Mike fam up in your area. I don't even really fucking care about ya. Let the world know who is Mike fam. I'm the hottest Asian motherfucker up in the ham. Hey, you know I keep on going like an energizer bunny. What's up, my boy Alex? We go way back right, like right, A-Trace. Right, come here, come here. Woo! Come to play it, man. I was on Ryder's block at one point, you know what I'm saying? But now, it's like, I love this music shit so much, man. I gotta let the word though. It's bigger than Birmingham, man. It's it's the whole nation gotta hear who Mike Fam is or how I grew up, man. I'm just tired of folks sleeping on our city, man. You know, we got too much talent in the city, man. We got a lot of hot producers, man. Hella Tracks is one of the hottest producers in the city. My boy G South, Extended Gold, Young Major. Come on, man. I can't forget about all them producers that I work with. Hood Zone, you know what I'm saying? Man, I shot with everybody in the city, man. You know what I'm saying? That that who's hot? I hear you hoes talking shit on the fucking low. Throwing shots at me, dog, in your videos. But I'm the Asian Fury, and I'm the Asian Fury. Got some chicks on my team, you gon' fucking fear me. I got some chicks always trying to get near me, near me, near me, near me, near me. The Asian Fury, man. Chip. This is how, you know what I'm saying, come up with the hit, man, Asian Fury. Hella Track Studios, man, you know what I'm saying, freestyle, you know what I'm saying, ain't nothing written, man. Swear to God, I went up here at Booth and just killed the them, booth man. is hot, the booth is hot. Yeah, man, <laughs> so y'all be on the lookout, Asian Fury on the way, man, you know, this video out right now on YouTube, man. Y'all check it out, man. I got one Asian fear on my name, Michael Fam. you know what I'm saying, subscribe me, subscribe Christopher Moses on his page too, man. Check it out. Hey, what's going on, yeah, man? Got my boy, I got one of my partners with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Larry, man. 
FNF, man. Dude been riding me, you know what I'm saying, through radio interviews. Hey, the day, man, back in the day, we were motherfucking sent the LR Hall day. We had the little black car with the lights on that bit with the beat yeah. in it. Y'all know back in the day, Mike Fairwall, man, turned up, how we riding in the city with the beat in the trunk, you know what I'm saying? He had that beat, yeah, that, yeah. all that exclusive shit. Custom, custom made shit. You know what custom saying? trunk, you know custom. what I'm saying? Investment dude got me a fiberglass trunk, you know what I'm saying? I used to ride down First Avenue, being hard, man. Ella, I remember I being so damn hard, right. man. Five point police pulled me. He told me he heard me damn three blocks away, man. That shit was drumming, man. I had a DB of 153, you know. So that was my goddamn base decimals, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know anything about base decimals? 153 man, you know what I'm saying? Dustman man with two 12s in the back, you know what I'm saying? Memphis 12s with a punch motherfucking 500 watt mono block amp. Yeah, the punch block. What you know about oh, that? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Talking out that bit, mono bleed, ain't gonna play yeah, no yeah. motherfucking words out that bit. So that bit was motherfucking uh, straight drop, straight beat shit. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Mono man. Block. I ain't no word coming out that amp. So you already know you were drumming. You know what yeah, what yeah, man. Doing thing, man. Show me video, Mike, man. Y'all follow him on. Motivating YouTube, man. Follow my fam, man. Check out some videos, man. Making noise, all this Already, shit. Already, bro. Tell you, Bruce Lee, a lot of it, man. Y'all go check them out on YouTube, man. Follow, man. Call my agent Fury. Yeah, Agent Fury <laughs> out, man, right now, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah, I got 12 videos out making noise, man. They hating on you, you know what I'm saying? All the videos with YB one time, in game low, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of videos, man. You see him on that, the hating on you video. Yeah, no, you see him a lot of videos, so y'all be on the lookout, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Come on, let me sit up in the steps and talk to y'all, man. But like I said, I've been doing this shit since I was fucking 12 years old at Rutledge Middle School in a lunch table, man. I used to rap on a lunch table and, you know what I'm saying, come up with good ideas, man. So, like I said, we ain't started this stuff, man. It, it's, it's, it's been a long journey. And like I said, like, been recording, walking to the studios. I remember walking to Chip Ruckus, and, and people didn't even know who I was. You know what I'm saying? Who's that Asian dude walking down to the studio? Ain't nobody give me a chance, because I, I thought I was an Asian dude couldn't rap. You know what I'm saying? But now, as, as far as I got older and wiser, man, I, I put my own money into this craft. You know, this is a passion. You know what I'm saying? This is a passion, man. But the dream gonna come true as long as you keep working. At anything you want in life, it'll come true. But like I said, man, dude been riding me, man, since day one, right. man. You know what I'm saying? Don't Every right, tell me, man, you gotta spend money to make money, man. Cause you gotta invest the motherfucker, you gotta make money. So you don't invest, you ain't gonna make no money, man. You gotta invest, man. That yeah. being smart. You know what I'm saying? You don't sit on your money, you put your money in some a CD or something like that and get that money a long way, let it sit in the account and draw interest off of it. See, you gotta know about shit like that. See, a lot of people don't know how to make their money flip and do numbers. See, there's more ways to make your money do numbers. You just can't sit on your money. You gotta put that bitch in CD, trust fund. I always say, put that bitch in one of them CDs and let that bitch sit about 10 years, about a couple thousand, and let the interest go off. So when the interest goes about 10 years, you're gonna triple, quadruple your money. So, you know what I'm saying? You got no way to, you know what I'm saying, flip your money. It ain't all about the dope, all that type of stuff. It's how you flip it, baby. Yeah. You can make money the right way, but you got not to make. You got stock market, you got everything. You got some people flip their 401k plan, you know what I'm saying? Been at their job for like 10 years. That type of way, you know what I'm saying? Ways to get money. You can work and have 400k plan. Hey, about man. 40,000. You know what I'm saying? You got to get it. See, my boy work every day, man. You know what I'm saying? He work hard. That boy just got all work, man. You know what I'm saying? Work, got all work. You know, that's how my part. If I call my part again, he going to come. You know what I'm saying? He going to come at anything, whether financially, you know, I need help. Anything, he going to come through, man. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's what real friends do. If I call him, I say, where you at, Larry? Shit, he on his way. No questions asked. I tell you, well, yeah, nigga, gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up. You know you what I'm saying? got a problem, I pull up. You got a problem, I, I pull call up, up my shooter. I'll pull, pull up ass like Uber, calling shots like a ruler. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, I don't put my business in the street. Ain't, you ain't gotta brag about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Real friends recognize real friends, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's loyalty, man. My boy said loyalty. loyalty. For royalty, man. You feel you what I'm saying? First. He, he might not be at every video shoot, but he man, he be at, my, like, 80% of the work. He down working to gain some money. Yeah. <laughs> he only missed mind. one video, man, and that was Asian Fear, and I ain't put nobody. You know, none of my friends was in that video, but, you know, all my friends, they come to all my videos, man. Any video that I shoot, man, 
you know, they'll welcome, they're a part of it. But sometimes you gotta do stuff by yourself, man, you know what I'm saying? Right. And let people know what kind of artist you are. Ain't no hate, no jealousy, man. Sometimes you gotta do you, you know what I'm saying? Be your own artist, work on your own craft, man. Sometimes you just gotta do shit yourself, man. Ain't nobody a good promoter like yourself, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna push you like yourself. You know what I'm saying? Look what time is it right now, man. It's like, shit, man, 10 o'clock, 10 so I gotta go to work tomorrow. Guess what? We out here, you know what I'm saying, telling my life story, my documentary about the music and how long we've been rapping, man. Shouts out to Christopher Mosley, man. You know what I'm saying? Dude, do good videos, man. You know what I'm saying? That's been my dude that shooting my videos. When I first met him, man, you know, on the internet, I'm like, man, and he answered my phone calls at first, you know what I'm saying? But shit, he was busy. <laughs> But eventually, you know, he started working with me, and I, you know, I'm serious about it. Do hit me back up, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's, it's about being chemistry with each other. It's, it don't matter how much money you got. I always try to work with your producers or photographers, man. Show them love, man, and, and they'll show love right back. And always treat your friends good, no matter what. How much money you got, you can have. You can be a millionaire, but if you treat your friends like shit and your, and your family like shit and your girl like shit. You ain't gonna be shit, man, because God gonna take it away from you. You know what I'm saying? This is speaking from the heart, not right. trying to impress the camera or nothing. This is this is real life, man. You, you know, know what you got to the yeah. Like, Damn, you see. know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm gonna tell you about my girl. Like for real, I'm gonna talk about my personal life. My girl been there for me four and a half years, man. For any of them hoes been, you know what I'm saying? My life, man. She changed my life around from the gambling aspect, the settle down aspect. You know what I'm saying? I had my time of gambling and. Holding around, you know, a man gonna do what a man gonna do, but at the end of the day, you see, I respect your woman, your relationship, you know what I'm saying? And it's all about respect and loyalty, man, you know what I'm saying? Like my partner, right? He's loyal, man, loyalty, you know what I'm saying? Loyalty. And like I told him, man, you know, I ain't, I ain't never crossed him for nothing, he ain't never crossed me, so that's how we keep it, man. Friendship, friendship is really important, man, but you can't call everybody your fucking friend. Oh. Everybody smile, you people you grew up for 20, 30 years, you know what I'm saying? A change on your ass, man, you know what I'm saying? They'll change on you quick. You know, but like I said, I got a good support system, man. You know what I'm saying? From the music, from my personal life, and, and I thank God for everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, it's more to come, man. It's more to come. You know, the life of an Asian rapper in Birmingham is hard. Then it make it so good when you got passion to it. Then that's your passion, so you're going to trace it even more hard when it's your passion. It's something that you want to do if you like it, and it's a passion. You're going to trade that even more harder, so you're going to let the world know and fuck with the doubters, you know what I'm saying? Show the out the people that hate that you can shine with that, out with all the hate, put it like that. You shine with all the hate and everything to all that verses. So, shit, it's all great. You gotta show them. I'm an Asian rapper rapping from Birmingham, Alabama, Birmingham 205. You know what I'm saying? My fam, that way. You yep. know what I'm saying? Y'all know how it is, man. It's great, hood. Birmingham, we got next, man. green to the game, y'all think that. 100. But, but like I said, man, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit since I was. A little kid, man. I always dream of success, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be that that rapper come out of the city, whack as hell, whack, whack as songs, man. I want to be a multi-millionaire, but in order to be a multi-millionaire, you got to grind hard. You know what I'm saying? Anything you do in life, you got to work harder. If somebody get that shit easy, then you don't want it, man. You know what I'm saying? I work hard for everything I got, from the cars, the clothes, the music, you know what I'm saying? The videos, you know what I'm saying? The talent, man. You know what I'm saying? This shit don't come overnight, man. I'm out here filming right now, man. At, at 10, 58, I got to go to work tomorrow. And guess to what? Seven in the morning. Seven in the morning. We still doing the thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want the whole world to know who Mike Fam and what I stand for this documentary. You know what I'm saying? See, a lot of people out there, they going to hate you because they don't want to see you succeed in life. You know what I'm saying? Because... They, you know what I'm saying, they're scared you're going to do better than them. Nah, man, you got to come together as a unit, as a team, man, if you want to blow up. It's rap shit, man. This rap shit don't come overnight. And I've been doing this shit since, man, I was 12 years old with this rap shit, man. And people don't understand because they think I got a silver spoon made my whole fucking life. And that ain't the, the fact. Man, I've been at all the studios in the city, when, even when Hood's on record. Ask something before you went to California. You know what I'm saying? I shot with Kenny's L. You know what I'm saying? Before they blew up with this rap shit. I mean, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. You know what I'm saying? I've been rapping with ROA. You know what I'm saying? ROA was the first 
fucking rappers in the city, man, that ever took me to the studio when Kano, Kano, you know what I'm saying? Birmingham put me, J. Birmingham J. Shout out to Birmingham J, man, you know what I'm saying? Talk to dude sometimes, man. Cool dude, man, you know what I'm saying? I talk to all the legends in the city, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy G South, man. You know what I'm saying? For doing, for making these hot tracks. People don't even know that G South made a lot of my beats. FaceTime. You know what I'm saying? Man, about 10 of my fucking beats. Hella tracks. Extended gold, young major, man. Big B flat, man. I've been fucking with everybody in the city with this music shit, man. And people don't understand because they think that I'm an Asian rapper from the city that I ain't got no talent, man. What the fuck? I've been killing these dudes in the rap competition in the city, man. Not to be arrogant. You know what I'm saying? I want a lot of rap shit in the city, man. Ask Colorblind, man, with my boy Crush, my boy Snap. You know what I'm saying? What happened to them days when I used to, with my boy Jamal, we used to ride down the motherfucking Ella Halls and met Kid and Play. Who, who, who met Play, man? That boy put up in a fucking Lamborghini, man, at Anthony's Barbershop in Midfield. You know what I'm saying? When people didn't even fuck with us. But now, you know what I'm saying? I just want to goddamn represent the 205. I ain't finna be like no motherfucking uh, artist that got a major deal and then dip on my city. Don't want to fuck with the city. Man, I, I did about fucking over 20 motherfucking features in the city. Man, AMG Skinny. You know what I'm saying? Ed High. Motherfucking Alejandro. You know what I'm saying? Who else can I keep on naming? Ain't Gain Low. YB one time. If, if they say... You don't fuck with Mike Fan. That's a lie. Mike Fan fuck with a lot of singers in the city. JR. You know what I'm saying? My boy Big Rick. You know what I'm saying? And let's keep on going. EG the Trojan, man. And shouts out to all the motherfucking local artists, man. With this rap shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit. And I ain't got a brag because I, I work with anybody that in the city that I want to work with. You know what I'm saying? On this music shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So shouts out to everybody out here, man. We out here shooting the documentary right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Look at this shit, man. I'm live right now. Slow, I'm gonna sp slow, slow, speak slow. my mind, man. I'm gonna speak my mind cause I'm an artist and like I'm an artist first and people think it's about money. Sometimes you gotta do free shows to make it. You know what I'm saying? People think cause you gotta get paid for everything. Okay. You ain't gotta get paid for every show, man. Sometimes it's good advertisement, man. You know what I'm saying? The money come if you do it for love and you do it out your heart. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do this shit out your motherfucking heart, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of producers in my inbox. A lot of people want to be my managers. People want to be this shit. And I be telling anybody can talk a good game until you show me what you can do for me, then do it. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can talk. But at the end of the motherfucking day, ain't nobody got your back like you do. You know what I'm saying? And everybody say they fuck with you. They don't fuck with you. They hate on you more than they got them fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can talk a good game until you show me, man. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been, man, featuring, I've been doing collabs with a lot of these motherfuckers in the city. You know what I'm saying? People don't understand. People don't want to shout you out. Because they're scared you're going to do better than them. But guess what? It ain't all about that. It's about coming together, unity, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. And people don't understand that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in the zone, y'all, man. Shout out to everybody on live, man. But you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, on zone, on the live end, doing the document at the same damn time. Yeah. What really inspired me to rap when I was growing up, I mean, you know, we didn't even have cable. You know what I'm saying? I used to watch TV. I remember the little things, you know, little things you turn on the TV thing. Man, I was watching MTV Jam coming on. I was like, who is this dude's on here, you know, with the long braids. Guess who it was? Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? The doggy dog world. Jenny Juice came on. I said, dang, I wanted to sound like that. I want to be like that. You know what I'm saying? That would really inspire, inspire me. You know, Snoop inspired me, man. You know what I'm saying? Snoop was one of my favorite rappers of all time, man, you know. Growing up, I looked up to Snoop, and I was like, dang, I, I want to be like him, you know what I'm saying? I started, you know, rapping around the neighborhood. When I first moved to Vinesville, Alabama, that's right there by Fairfield, the end of Fairfield, and by close to Midfield. I moved to the little apartment complex, man, you know what I'm saying? I started hanging around with the kids out there. I was the only Asian in the the apartment complex, you know what I'm saying? And I met a guy named Vontaire Shock. That was my partner, Snap, you know what I'm saying? He rapped with me. So, you know, I used to be cussing and stuff. They'd be like, what is you saying? Stop saying all that cuss. I couldn't even barely rap back then. You know what I'm saying? I started like 
Dang, I started getting a rhythm for it. You see, they thought I was Chinese, but I'm not Chinese. I'm Vietnamese. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the country from Vietnam. If y'all don't know what Vietnamese is, Vietnamese is, you know what I'm saying, my language is from Vietnam. You know, if y'all if y'all heard about the Vietnam War, that's where my family, my ancestors came from. But like I said, man, I just thank God for giving me, you know, a opportunity, a talent to rap, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a word to me. I, I love music, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would like to cross over all type of music. I don't care what music, R&B, pop, country, whatever. Like, I'm a versatile artist. You know, I can do any kind of general music, you know what I'm saying? But like, well, I'm trying to market my music everywhere. You know, so all over the world, not in just the United States or just one to one culture. I want my music to be everywhere in Japan, Germany, uh, North Korea, South Korea. I don't care, if, you know what I'm saying, where it is at. As long as my music get heard, you know what I'm saying. I want the world to know that a, a Asian got talent just like any other race and we can do it. And like, I want to be the first Asian guy that be successful around the world, not just one genre of music, you know what I'm saying? I want to capture everybody. And like how I'm marketing myself, you know, now these days, is social media, YouTube, SoundCloud, uh, Worldstar, you know, different social media medias. And like I said, you know, once I get that opportunity and that right person that get my music, you know, when it, it's like this, they say when it's your time, it's your time. When God said it's your time, it's your time to shine. And whenever he wants me to make it as a big time mainstream artist or whatever, an, ind an independent artist, hey, I'm for it. You know what I'm saying? It's up to the Lord's hands. And right now, I just want y'all to know that I'm trying my best as an artist to make it in this world, but I know it's hard, man. You know what I'm saying? I know it's hard. I just don't talk about one certain thing about girls, cars, clothes. I can talk about everything, the struggle, the, the flashy life. You know what I'm saying? I came from nothing. So I can rap about that, you know? And, and like, I'm putting it in my songs now about the flashy life because I work hard. And like, when you work hard, you can buy anything you want. You ain't just can be a rapper, singer, you know, as long as you work, you got both hands, you make money, you can do anything you want. You know what I'm saying? If you think like a businessman, guess what? You can do it. If you got a plan, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, man, I'm just wanna market my music everywhere. And like I got all type. I'm like, I'm like the fruity loops. I got all flavors. What makes me different? One. I'm Asian, ain't no Asian dude got the Southern like me, Southern talk like me, you know what I'm saying? Got the swag like me when I rap, you know what I'm saying? I can rap fast, slow, I can go in the studio and you know what I'm saying, come up with a hook fast, you know what I'm saying? And, and like, ain't no disrespect to none of the Asian artists or any artists out there, you know what I'm saying? But like, I can go in the studio and knock a song out without writing. That's what makes me different. You know what I'm saying? I can go up in there and freestyle the song bar for bar because you know how I do that? I mean practice, you know what I'm saying? Practice make perfect. And like I said, you know, I ain't trying to be arrogant towards nobody. I just got the love for the music. Once you got the give and gab for the music and you got the passion for the music, you can do anything you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, I thank God that I got a job and I can pay for my recording, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with a nine to five, y'all. If you working, don't be ashamed, you know what I'm saying, about your day job. You know, it's better than you depend on somebody else. See, I work a nine to five, but I make good money though. You know what I'm saying? I thank God for that. And I take that money, I invest in my craft. I invest in my marketing, I invest in my videos, I invest in everything because like Master P and everybody else say, I, I look up to Master P, you know what I'm saying? The reason why I look up to Master P because, man, that dude made billions of dollars, he got a brilliant mind, you know what I'm saying? 
And I, I ain't never seen nobody do it from the South like him. I look up to Master P. Shouts out to Master P from No Limit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you think smart and you work hard, the more you learn, the more you earn. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I'm just letting y'all know that I'm on my way to success. And ain't nothing stopping me out here. You know what I'm saying? My life on a daily basis, man, consistent. I go to work, you know what I'm saying? After work, I, I hang out with my family, you know what I'm saying, my girl. And, and you know, I go exercise, I write music, you know what I'm saying? Like, but like the reason why I exercise, don't I'm gonna tell y'all the reason why I exercise. Cause it try to keep me in shape. I try to get in shape. And it helps with my performance on stage. That's why you guys gotta exercise. If you don't exercise, you're gonna lose your balance, you're gonna lose your breath, but exercise is very important. But what I do on a daily basis besides exercise, I go to the studio, you know what I'm saying? I record music, I record at least twice a week. You know, I try to, if I don't, then I, the next following week, I go back in the studio, do a couple songs. I love spending time with my family. I'm a family guy. You know, I don't know about anybody else, but my fam love to spend time with his family. What held me back from my music though, for real, honest to God, truth. Well, first of all, gambling, man, it held me back from my passion, you know what I'm saying? Like, gambling's the worst addiction that you can ever have. So I advise everybody out there that's watching me right now, please don't gamble, because it ruins your life, it ruin your relationships, it ruin what you got, you know what I'm saying? You lose it, all that money that I, I was gambling, I could have put into my marketing, into my videos, into a lot of more stuff that throwing it away, you know what I'm saying? And back then, you know, and then women, that's why I call it GG girls, man, girls will break you. So I advise y'all, man, Keep get one woman, man. Or get one person that you love, man. And stick with them. Because if you don't, man, it's going to break you. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, gambling is like the worst habit that I ever had. And it really held me back. And, and I'm just telling everybody, man, the world, please, don't gamble. And don't start it. Because it will ruin your life. For real. And just pray to God about your situation. I don't care if you go get some counseling or rehab or whatever, but don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm praying to God right now, you know, that I will stop one day. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you know, we Asian love to gamble. And I came from a family that loves to gamble. And that's what really held me back. That's the God honest truth. But I'm quitting now and I'm on my way to success, man. You know what I'm saying? And Y'all will see soon how I accomplish my goals and accomplish my life, period. One of my favorite clubs that I used to love to perform at was Mike Crossroads. I know it was a strip club, but it just the environment up in there, man. I know it was hood, but I love performing at Mike Crossroads when it was open, man. But my biggest show that I love to open up at was the platinum. When I opened up for two chains, me and GMC and my boy Alejandro, man, we tore that goddamn club down, man. You know what I'm saying? The platinum. That was like my second best club that I performed at was the platinum. And the third one was City Stages, man. City Stages was something very, very different though. Like City Stages was like one of the biggest audience that I ever performed in front of different races, different colors and stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying? That 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 mean a lot to me, you know what I'm saying? That shout out to my boy Bulldog for getting that gig, man. When we when I perform at City Stages and different races see me, they like our music, man. They line up for our CDs, man. We sold out that night. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to DJ Stickman. DJ Stickman was the first DJ in Birmingham that ever played me on the airway. 95.7 J. He was the first dude that ever played my song. 
You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to DJ Stickman, man, for that. At first, when I first started, I got kind of nervous. And then once I got used to it, man, I started acting a fool. Me and my group started acting a fool, man. But like I said, man, you know, now I really hold it down on stage because, like, I don't get nervous. That's that's one thing a lot of rappers, a music person, they, they afraid of the stage. You got to learn how to perform. That's one thing. And you know what I'm saying? When I first started performing, I ain't gonna lie, I was tired, I was out of breath. But back in the days, I was eating chicken wings, I was eating, man, all that fried food. And it kind of slowed me down. But now, man, I started working out. And it, man, it's a difference. That's why y'all guys need to start working out, man, for real. The best track that I like, woo, I got a lot of them. But if I had to choose one, hit me on my FaceTime, my FaceTime. You know that I got you. I don't even know how to sing, but shout out to my boy JR, man. That's my favorite track that I got, that I like. But for real, I'm talking, that's a feature. But as the far as my solo song, one of my favorite solo songs, it's the Asian Fury, and it's the Asian Fury. I hear you hoes talking junk on the fucking low. Ain't throwing shots at me, dog, in your videos. But I'm the Asian Fury, you know who you are. <laughs> Got my homies wet here, my boy Ink Game Low. Ink Game or no game at all. My boy Snap right here, you know what I'm saying? What it do, what it do. My boy Larry in this bitch, man. Yeah, let me see if we in here. Yeah, man. So this is how it all started, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? We started rapping so long. All these boys been rapping for so long, yeah, man. Yeah. Tell them, man, how long you hey, been rapping, man. Man, I think I started in 2002. But I've been rapping since I was six years old. I did concerts all in Morrison Avenue, Clan Deep. Uh, I did a lot of things at a young age, so, you know, everybody know me as rapping pretty cool, you know what I'm saying, that's all I do. So. Mike got me back in it, man, because at times I was just motivated with it, so I, that's what I really appreciate about him, because six months ago, man, I wasn't doing none of this shit, to be, to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, we put our shit together, man, you know, I knew Snap. Well, yeah, he was always built like a coach anyway, <laughs> you know, at three, you know what I'm saying, so we all basically knew each other like 20, 25 years back. So, you know, it's overdue. Uh, I'd rather do it with them than do it with anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Because I can trust them. Straight up, straight up. I've been, I'm Snap, man. I've been knowing Mike since we were about seven years old in the project and buying there, you feel me? Like, to be right at 100. He's the rapper at Western Hill Mall with a hat. <laughs> and he used to have Ninja Turtle shoes on, rapping. Oh, real talk, man. Real talk. It, it, it was some good old days, man. He started me to rap. Because I wasn't no rapper. I was the, the sport player, football, right, right, right. baseball. Yeah, he looked like it. He looked like everybody. Bo Jackson in the play. Man, everybody. <laughs> but anyway, man. Yeah, so our first song, I got on the song with him. What the, what it was? Alabama? Alabama, yeah. Yeah, we had a song called Alabama. But I hit song. They had to rap. <laughs> when I seen it, I was like, I said, I remember you. So when I I I, I seen him as he was young. By the time I seen him, he got Mike with him. Mike was yeah. persuasion. That was we were colorblind. We were colorblind. Then. colorblind then. Our group right. name was colorblind right. back then, man. So he danced. He started out there. Brad good dance. And he rapped. Yeah. Said, yeah, that's it hot. Yeah. That's it. Show. So we was all competing for the same call back then. You know it's very rare you get a Vietnamese, Asian, Chinese, whatever y'all want to call him. Whatever y'all want to call him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's it very rare you get one that rap from the hood. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And been from and the hood. just being real, man. A lot of people, you know, I, I stood by his side because I seen a lot of people trying to push over him. You feel right. me? I mean, he ain't pretending. He just going to be who he who be. He? You know what I'm saying? That's what he is. You know, you remember Bones. Anybody remember that blue, bloody bone? What that nigga bone? Y'all remember that bone? Yeah. He was. He had the. He had the character of the guy that was promoting the fight. Yeah. Yeah. So you know that that was our modern day thing right here. You know what I'm saying? It, it, this shit funny. Now if it's funny to me, then I'm coming out of West End to the park. It should be funny to you. And if it ain't, fuck you. <clears throat> then you know what I'm saying with me. Me and Mike split up for some years. 
I had some uh, personal things going on. I got incarcerated for about four years. And they kind of, a lot of folks, right, don't believe when we said that we were finna sign a contract with Universal. Yeah. We really were. <laughs> but with me getting incarcerated, they didn't want two people out of the group. They wanted all three. So, I, I, I feel like it's my fault. You feel what I'm saying? Just the wrong crowd. I should have just listened to them when. <laughs> I, man, it did crazy though, man. But anyway, now it's new. You feel what I'm saying? We got eight games. Okay. You feel me? A lot of folks said, okay, we need to start hearing some of that old school swag type rapping and you know vibe back you feel what i'm saying yeah, yo, new calls. to me to me all that them the world get kind of funny man <laughs> if you get what i'm saying and we ain't with that man we gotta nah. bring it back together though you feel me anybody know us know that though you know but the thing is now it's, it's a statement it's like i tried to say could you help me please oh but let me put that out there, uh, out there though um we don't do, you know what I'm saying, just gangster rap. Nah, we don't nah. do none of that. We do R&B, bruh. We do anything Versatile. that you can think of. You know what I'm saying? We unique. We just versatile to the fullest, you feel me? Right. A lot of folks be like, man, I ain't heard that song, this and that, this and that. Cause we got something for y'all. You feel what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got some stuff we going on. got something for y'all. I media, right. We got Welcome to My City on the way, man. Got like eight artists on there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, right oh, yeah. Now. You know what I'm saying? Five collab. Five oh, yeah. collab, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just dropped a video a couple of days ago. Show. Sure. It was a couple of days ago. What was it? Sunday? Yeah, yeah Sunday. It was you gonna, Sunday. You gonna be able to see that on Facebook, YouTube, You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna see it, man. Y'all. Welcome to you know my city, saying? man. I just put different people from different sides. North side, south side, west side. For sure. You know, different rappers I even know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Put them on, you know what I'm saying, together. At, and it came out pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I said, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of glad that we can get us together because a lot of people from different cities don't want to get together because a lot of hate. You know what I'm saying? But I've been trying to tell them you gotta put all the hate to the side, man, and let's keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Well, they'll say okay and then, and then hate again. Yeah, and, and, and yeah. Look, look at them other dudes who beat them big stars that beat with each other. You know what I'm saying? In, in Atlanta and stuff, right? But guess what? When it came to, when it comes to the money, guess what? They squashed. But check they, they and make the money. A lot of folks say we Birmingham can never come together as one, you know what I'm saying, to try to compete against other states. You feel what I'm saying? We everybody here is competition against each other. I don't feel like that old song with their friends, how many of us have them? It's like this, man. For real. You got low versus, be honest with you, the private, you know, to the, you know what I'm saying, real privileged areas. You got a lot of re recreational shit you can do. Uh, so your fa main focus ain't to push another person down. So exactly. when you go to another person, you're going to see him. They, hey, why he get, who? He ain't hating on him. Yeah. Because he know he got his time coming. But when you down here and when you secluded and you in prison you or something. You got to come together, And you got to work with what you have. That little shit is important. So you got a lot of crab in the bucket shit. We, we, we live in yeah. uh, trying to get each other down. Because everybody want to get to the top. You know what I'm saying? And but know, I'm gonna tell you like though. this though, a lot of y'all man, everybody know Snap, Snap don't bite his tongue. Y'all quit hanging on my boy man. <laughs> I know who y'all live, just trust me, I know who you is, I just quiet. You know what I'm saying? But anyway man, on another level, y'all gonna be able to see us man, 100. But 100. the way I appreciate that, that y'all gonna see us now, is grown, more mature, we ain't playing with you. I said I got one last shot to show my daughter, show my show. kids, show my wife, show, show, show everybody that I ain't do this shit for nothing. This ain't never been for nothing, you know what I'm saying? And I guess that's why me and him met up. And I, I feel like it was, it was God said that we met up on, on the level we did because I wouldn't have been rapping now. So that's why it's special for me to talk about him because I, I, I was like retired for five years. Yeah. So I came back from making noise. That's a lot of times to not split a lyric or put a sentence together because your yeah. motivation was gone. And up, he said, man, look, I'm going to get you back to how you was, man. And now listen to me. You're going to have to trust me. 
I'm gonna have to trust you too. You know that how I might talk. We had we had to hear song though. Hey, hey, you know what? Drinks on me. We had drinks on me. We beat the Gator Boy with Jack. Yeah, but you know. Beat the who? We the Gator Boy. Yeah, yeah, sure did. That really hit me from a heart for me being having a bad reputation. You know what I'm saying? He he looked past that. You know what I'm saying? I I wasn't hood up. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't ride me or nothing like that. He treated me like this, and you know I see you Larry the same way. You know what I'm saying? You know, all my brothers, man. They, they cut from, you know, we all cut from the same cloth, bro. So, yeah. we, we, so they know what I'm saying. We feel the same way about it when they when they get me like that because we always talk to say the other race or whatever don't like us or whatever. We never know until we got there talk to them. That's how we don't seek attention. Don't mean we won't do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah real talk. But you know, people know that anyway. So. It ain't even a bitch of saying it, you know what I'm saying? You do that at your own expense and your own risk also. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the only reason why I'm putting shit out like there like that because a lot of folks don't realize, man. I've heard a lot out there, you feel me? I've heard a lot about us. Right. You see what I'm saying? Oh, you know what really matter those snaps? But I just be quiet. Hey, though. but you know what I really matter? But I just want them to know just, that I'm I hear. No, no. But when, when you <laughs> met me, I think I shot a 12 gauge up in there. Yeah, you did. Right. I was skipping school. Right, 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 exactly. All right. Back <laughs> in the days on how we live, you can say what you want, bro. You know, that's your life, right? Yeah. As long as it's not in the present of these gentlemen you see right here. And then it ain't even no telling what's going on. We'll handle it. We'll handle it. We go with the man respect, any means necessary. Basically what we're saying is, stop the hate, man. Just just get down with it, you feel what I'm saying? Get down, man. And if you Everybody don't, just let do something, up. man. We can't, we can't be enemies out here, call ourselves artists and just being enemies and fighting and shooting and all, man. We can't do that, bro. That's why we just gotta come together, man. Y'all y'all claim that y'all want so much competition. I'm gonna see how many people in Birmingham can come together for it and, and compete against Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Compete against Texas. But we listen to their music, though. I'm down for that. I got Birmingham written on my back. I, I know that's real. So, I love my city, but I ain't no beat in denial about my city either. No, you ain't. If you gonna want me to be a rapper, you gonna want me to be true. I can't be contradictory in no reason, no shape, form, or fashion. It's fucked up. And whoever looking at it, you know what we talking about. So if you not seeing what we talking about, we know you one of them. Mm. <laughs> See, y'all thought, you know, you know, you think we dumb. No, no. Nah, no, bro, we thank us here. I don't need the fine, just show me the money. That's it. <laughs> That's it, man. Look, I think it's time for us to get paid for what we do. Yeah. yeah. I ain't no karaoke machine. You know what I'm saying? This is a crap, man. man and since you Birmingham was good at basketball, waiting. since you was good at basketball, and you took it there, uh, treat me the same way because I do this rap. Mm, I know that's <laughs> Hey, that's a real shit. You know? <laughs> that's a real shit, though. Because you put the words together. Let me see you and your grandma put orthopedic shoes in anything yeah. and come out tight. All right. You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to do is, before you judge and, and judge what we got going, look in the mirror first. Now, once you look at yourself and see whatever you can do to make it better, too, then I change. Other than that, I ain't doing shit. Hey Mike, yeah. I've been meaning to ask you a question. Why you don't want no manager? Why well, I don't want no manager? One, fuck a manager. <laughs> keep it real. And no disrespect to them managers out there. Keeping it real, like I can be my own manager. You know what I'm saying? Oh, if I put my own money up, you know what I'm saying? You want all the money. I want all my money. But like I said, I ain't, the only time you need a manager for real, though, this is my opinion, is when you make it. You know what I'm saying? You have a role manager, you're gonna have you know, manage the whole your business. Yeah. But like I said, man, you, you got to, in order to have a real manager, you gotta find somebody you trust. For real. You hey, can't trust nobody. I, can, I don't right. trust everybody. That's real. Yeah. That, I'm just keeping it real. I don't hey, trust look, everybody. I'm gonna be honest with you, and you I like to say that too. You don't trust nobody. <laughs> and see, that's what I needed because I was exactly like that. So he just don't know that's what we had in common at first, that we trust no one. Yeah. yeah. You heard me. True so true. we know bullshit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So once we got that out of the way and we did all our tests that we had yeah. on each other, we all passed. We had a good manager. We had Bulldog. Yeah, we had Bulldog. We had Bulldog. He's a good I, manager, I, man. Darryl Wall, that's his yeah. name. Yeah, we had Bulldog. He's a good manager. Shout out, shout out to look, shout out to people. I ain't tripping out here. Shout out to Ben Hurt, man. You know, yeah. I know a lot, yeah. lot, lot of people. Ben Hurt. You know what I'm saying? Hurt, to him, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I shout out to him. I haven't seen him since you know, um, I was there. But yeah. 
Shout out to people like that, man. I'm just saying, listen. Let her shine. Let her shine. You know what I'm saying? He getting views for something. You know what I'm saying? I hear a lot of stuff, man. And, you, know, I, you know, I ain't trying to point it out, but I hear a lot of stuff. Like, hey, man, you know, Mike, you don't need to show too much. What they do on Korea? What the whole aspect of this motherfucking culture is? What you trying to do <laughs> when you type that shit? You trying to go stunt for a girl. A girl. You get tight. You get your game tight. You rap. The only means of you living is to impress a girl. And you saying he tripping for showing some shoes. Okay. A girl. <laughs> Man, that's just how the day is. Yeah, a lot of people that hate. Generation. There's a lot of people in the world hate, but guess what? Hate make you great, you know what I'm saying? But oh, like yeah. I said, all these yeah. guys, you know what I'm saying, serve a, serve a purpose. If, if he ain't there, he there. If he ain't there, he there. If, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, yeah, like real sure. shit, man, real shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I might not hate with these cats every day, but on God, they got my back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, yeah. Man, yeah, we, yeah. We, talk, we talk all the time. Facebook, man. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Facebook, you like I said. So. Let me tell you that God and true, I'm gonna keep it real. The reason why I've been mean, out this scene for real, though, because I've been gambling. But I fucked them up this year, though. I ain't gonna lie. Tear their ass up this year. Though. I fucked the bookie up this year. Hey, 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 hey. If you fucked up like that, let me. Don't make me bring my stacks out. Don't make me stunt for the camera. I'll bring them stacks out. Should I do it? <laughs> no, I don't need to do it because it ain't, I ain't trying to impress nobody. But the, what my main focus, we went hey, to CC's Pieces. We went to CC's Pieces today. You know what I'm saying? I took the whole family out today, you. man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. And I, I love them. I love yeah. like my brothers. Oh, God. Oh, they yeah. might they might get mad at me sometimes. I get mad at them, but guess what? I ain't never got mad at them. We brothers. He done bought the cheer and the I, 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 I'm going to be honest. I was confused. At one point, but I never got mad at him. Hey, I got I mad at him. I ain't gonna lie, I got mad at him. I thought I gave him USB drive. He thought I he thought, stole the drive. I thought he stole the drive. Hey, he said he hey, still hey, don't Hey, I told him hey. I'm sorry. Hey, you I know what I'm saying? Hey, then my partner, I hey. get mad. I get mad at Larry. I ain't show up at a motherfucking hey. birthday. Guess what? Mo. In the end of the day, we still Mo. motherfucking oh, boss. Hey, 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 you know Mosley. what I'm saying? Hey. Mosley in here like Vlad. There you go. Hey, Mosley. Mosley. I'm telling you, for that instant, he thought I took that thing. He's like, that's why I don't trust niggas. I, I don't know, know. <laughs> but nah. Yeah, I, you know. I was in the I was in the loop for Mike one time. I had to beat Mike ass. Oh, but well, see, y'all got history, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But I was gonna beat him up and then shake his hand the next day because that's my brother. You know what I'm and that's how you act. See, he, he left me to hang with a certain crowd. <laughs> and I got mad about that. Thing. I ain't gonna lie. I remember that. That back in high school. In high school day. <laughs> oh, we still boys. We still boys today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, get yeah. what? Oh, and get yeah. what? Yeah. Out of 20 years, we ain't never got to fight with each other. Oh, no. 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 We fight hey, other hey, motherfuckers. Hey. Yeah. You beat the shit out of my cousin, yeah. though. <laughs> You beat that nigga. Hey, hey, what are you gonna talk about? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, I'm sorry, you gotta put the cow on baby. Hey, right hey, baby, you know what he was talking about. He said, my fan beat the hell out of his cousin. Really? Yeah, could you see my fan? Did I tell you? Hey, I, I told you, I got you. I got you. Anyway, man, ain't nothing but love about you. Hey, all love, man, for real though. This, but like this, I said, this is a beginning. This is the beginning, man. This all year. It ain't, remember what I said? Yeah, ain't no, no you ain't, don't this be surprised, all year. man. Don't this be surprised. This all year, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't Trust be surprised. Me. We coming. Yeah. We coming. Look at hey. all this four, right? We coming, hey. baby. We now, coming. I know a lot of y'all motherfuckers. You know who I'm talking to. Oh, oh excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say this to y'all for one minute. Look me in my eye. All right? Let me see. Do I get all of you? OK. Now, now listen to me. Now, it was a lot of you motherfuckers. You know who I'm talking about. They didn't want to see me in this position, do you? Hmm? Tried your best, right? Don't let nobody hear my song. Yeah, yeah. I'ma kill y'all bitches with success. Ah, uh, you know what it is. You know what it is. Put the camera on him now, man. Talk. talk go ahead. Get that get layer, man. Tell well, me, how me you man. Feel, bro. Tell him how y'all feel, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep I have family. Man. This shit really. That's why I've been off the scene. You feel what I'm saying? I got kids. I'm married. I love my wife. Love my kids. They come before it, you know what I'm saying? But with a god daddy like Mike, he helped me save a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> for real, for real hey, man. Hey, so hey. I'm back. back. Snap is back. Hey. Just believe that. Hey, and let me tell you, a real friend, when you down, you see who your fucking real friends are. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, when oh, you yeah. ain't got no dollars, you see who your real friends are. Goddamn but when right. you on top, guess what? When I'm on top, at one point in time, all of all of, all the new motherfuckers disappear. But guess what? My old homies, they here, man. Oh, they yeah. been knowing me since day still one. Him. They oh, still yeah. here, man. Still you know what I'm saying? 
Guess you know. what? That, that's, that's all. That's, that's all it's all about. But don't think because I just took off for a month or two. You know what I'm saying? I quit rapping. I did that on purpose. Now we back. We finna shoot videos. Shouts out to Christopher Mosley, man. Oh, man no, Shouts man. out to all the photographers out there, man. Show. You know, see this dude that travel out of Atlanta with me. Christopher Mosley, y'all know who he is. He do photography, he do everything, they do a hustler, man. Like I said, man, I appreciate you, man. This, but this. Just, he been the real, you know what I'm saying? Not cause he holding the camera on some real shit. Travel out of town, we shoot my videos and all that. We ain't shooting no videos in a minute. But we back, baby. We oh, back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You said, you said what you had to say? Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Say what you had to yeah. say. Go ahead. I said what I had to say. You got something to say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey man, I met Mike Fam. Used to kick with my cousin Chris. Back in the day, man. LR all day. We buy old car with the system in the back. They ride clean with the lights all in, all type of shit, man. Like, damn, who the Chinese man is right around here with all that beat? Like, cool, we gotta kill him. Like, no, we cool, like, no. But that one I was into my wild day, man, on that crazy shit, man. Fighting every day. In jail there week, you know what I'm saying? That was on that bullshit. Then I met my fam through my cousin, Charles Bell. Man, I got to know Mike, man. Mike, 100 person, man. They said surround yourself around good people, man. When you surround yourself around good people, you don't have to worry about, you know what I'm saying, envy, hate, and all that, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just be trying to separate myself from all the shit that got me and the shit that I'm in now, you know what I'm saying? I've been gone for four years, too. I've been, I just got out like two years ago. In a head, so you know what I'm saying? I just say I'm gonna surround myself around positive people that think about making money, you know what I'm saying? So everybody don't want to see you yourself, they want to see you down so they can laugh and talk about you. But when you make that money, then when everybody gonna be want to be your friends and your faith, hey man, then I see last week, my he was snappy with in game, low, he went yeah. super pop, then I'm from the north side, man. I've been yeah. into a southern pop, and then people I'll be like, damn, you been on the north side, then shot your car up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Drive by, riding through there, that shot my car, shot two people in the comments, but shit, the pad be the pad, man. I'm just talking real life shit. You know what I'm saying? My cousin got shot too. You know what I'm saying? He was told we such a far hard, no side. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. But, man, sometimes you gotta overcome all that bullshit, man. So we man now, you know what I'm saying? Come together, so we could have been dead, man. Really? A lot of times, I could not be been here. Man, shot my car up so many times. And I could have been dead plenty of time, but I just thank God for blessing me and keep, you know what I'm saying, the devil away from me, you know what I'm saying, surround my face around real people, you know what I'm saying? Well, shit. Real shit. Ain't game low. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me give him a hold of time, man. Give me a hold of time. Mike, man. Yeah, yeah. Hell, guess what? Man. Real friend on Blue Ridge. 2019. I promise you, man. All right, yeah.